In 2002, the Ramones were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, after which other punk bands, the Sex Pistols, and the Clash entered. Does being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame validate their career? Of course not, that doesn't make the Ramones any more punk than any of the other bands, but they're still the first. The name Ramones comes from Paul Ramone, a pseudonym used by the Beatles' Paul McCartney when he checked into his hotel or wanted to hide from journalists. The corner of 53rd and 3rd Street in Manhattan in the 70s was known as the Nest of Gigolos. It is suspected that the song 53rd and 3rd is about D.D. Ramon who works as a male hustler to pay for his habit of consuming heroin. Joey Ramone suffers from Marfan syndrome, which is associated with elongated limbs. Marfan syndrome sufferers are nearsighted, that's why Joey always wears glasses to treat vision problems. It is known that Joey Ramone and Johnny Ramone hate each other. They haven't spoken to each other in years, even though they are still touring. The two have very different political views, Joey is a liberal, and Johnny is a conservative. Even worse, Johnny ends up marrying Joey's ex-girlfriend. Well, maybe it's this marrying your ex-boyfriend thing that causes more hate than politics. Joey Ramone has said that he is a big fan of several bands from the generation below, including Green Day and The Offspring. What's quite interesting is how these bands always seem to be in a pop-punk rivalry. Green Day was influenced by The Ramones and The Clash, while The Offspring was influenced by Californian surf rock bands as well as The Ramones. But there is no news yet whether Joey Ramone is also a fan of Blink-182, or it could be that he vomits every time someone asks. Ha ha ha. That's it, lazy to continue discussing it, if anyone wants to add, write in the comments column okay. Why are you writing Ramones at such length? 1234 are over. If you know what I mean.